Hi guys, this is Ruthie. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. You know you rock. Just here, a little plant obsessed lady loving to share my passion for plants and inspiring you to be creative with your plants and gardens. Today, I am super stoked because I'm gonna be doing, um, I'm gonna be potting up the Korean succulent order that I got recently and putting together the cuttings for the 1,000 subscriber giveaway winner. So I hope you'll join me, but I did want to show you this shirt that I bought recently that I thought was super appropriate. It just says, uh, all I need is this plant, and this plant, and this plant. Basically, I need them all. <laughs> Alright, let's get started, guys. to show you super quickly what um, is the mix I've been using recently since I um, got, got the Korean succulents I've been using a much grittier mix for my succulents um, and I'm gonna show you what that recipe is good lord words okay so what I've been doing is two parts potting mix um, I usually use whatever is on sale this one was on sale it's moisture control you probably can get away with just using regular potting uh, regular soil because you are going to be using all of these ingredients that it's going to make it drain better for you now I will say a disclaimer that I live in a very humid um, environment Florida so you should attend this um, according to your conditions if you're you know very dry conditions then maybe this might be a little too gritty for you but if it isn't if it still is you then you just water a little more often oh my little second is looking a little wilted <laughs> um anyway but um you know i don't want you guys starting a mixture and saying hey oh my god why is everything dying uh because i did have a subscriber say that she got so super inspired to buy succulents and they all died and she unsubscribed to me and i felt super duper bad so i'm going to be doing a care tutorial for succulents and hopefully that will be more helpful I don't know if I've done a good enough job about telling you guys how to care for your succulents and I want you guys to succeed I want you guys to have succulents that just look beautiful happy and make you smile like they do to me so I will be you know I'm trying to get some stuff together so that you guys can succeed and be happy with your plants as well and have them propagate and just grow and just be amazing all right so anyway two parts the um, soil and like I said it can just be regular soil um, but I use this one for now and then I put one part chicken grit one part turfis one part um, pumice and I will be using the horticultural char charcoal as well which is improves drainage absorbs harmful impurities uh, if you if anyone knows anything about like fish tanks and stuff it's really good about filtering um, the bad stuff and um, helping to clear the water so it, it has like that benefit beneficial um, those kind of benefits as well for your soil and helps to uh, so that you don't get root rot if used appropriately okay so um, let's get started in putting this together now I do have some already mixed in here this was a little bit more of um, the outside uh, the outside recipe I think I had some perlite in here I'm trying not to use perlite as much in my potting mixes because I hate that it um, rises to the top but I have had really good success with half perlite and half potting soil mixture so if that's all you have go with it because I've done well with it I just really hate when the perlite rises to the top um, and I will put links for all of these things that I do have and use um, in case you can't find them because I have a really hard time finding hummus in my area as well as the turfus so um, I do have links there for that if you're unable to find it and I'm starting to use this little succulent plant food as well and that you put in after you um, have the pot so I'll show you how to use that as well so what I'm going to do is put these things in here first and then I'll, I have an empty pot for soil I'm going to grab some soil in here I'm sorry I'm terrible with the handed recording so it's one and like I said you can mix it up with the same ingredients 
to work for you. It doesn't have to be this exact same recipe. Sometimes I add a little more turfus or a little more pumice depending on how it feels. But this so far has felt pretty gritty and good for me. Um, and I will say that this also, I forgot to tear it open. Give me one second. To I just want to save some time. So I did already put a little piece of mesh underneath each um of the little pots i'm going to be using and this is just weed barrier that i never used wound up cutting it putting it in the bottom um and i put a little layer of the charcoal on the bottom of each pot i'm going to fill them probably three quarters of the way i know you guys don't need to see that it's you know it's nothing special and it'll save some time so this video won't be 25,633 hours long uh so i'm gonna do that and i will be back Okay, good. Five hours later, I have this set up. It's too hot outside, so I'm recording in here. I hope you can see lighting's not that great in my um, house. But um, as you can see, I already set up the pots, pretty much filled them three quarters of a way or more. You may have like an echo in here. Echo, echo, echo. Um, so I'm sorry if I do. I need a mic. I need quite a bit of uh, equipment apparently to record in my home because my tripod is terrible. Okay, so um, I have different size pots. I have these little ones, but then I have, oh, these are so cute, even tinier ones. And I got these at the 99 cent store for a dollar. This, These tiny ones came in a three pack. These came in a two pack for a dollar. And then I have these large ones that I did not get in the 99 cent store because they did not have them. Um, I have a soil mess here, but it is what it is. Okay, so I did use this. I started using this recently. And this says one pump to a small pot, two pumps to a larger pot. I don't think this is considered a small pot. I think it's a six inch diameter is usual, but I still put one pump in there just because. Alright, so the first one I'm going to put in the pot is this little one because he's super dehydrated. And this is the Ele um, Echeveria Longissima. And I need my little set. I love this little guy. So, There's certain ones that I won't be able to give cuttings of, like this one, because it's so super tiny. I would like to propagate it before I start giving any away of that. I thought it was going to be a larger, um, a larger plant, but it wasn't, so... And I really love this because the little shovel makes it so much easier for me to get the soil in places like this and the top dressing because I'll use it for the top dressing as well. I'm going to attempt not to overfill which I always do and then I don't have room for the top dressing. So let's, let's leave that as it is right now. Let's go with this guy now I don't know I feel like this one might need a bigger pot because it's already overtaking that and I did explain before that this one I won't be able to give cuttings because this is a crestata which is like a crested piece so this stays together I may wind up putting that in this pot here so let me leave that for later um let's see I'm trying to get the smaller pieces what about this one yeah I think this one will be good and this one I don't have to cut a piece because it's already off. So that'll be for the subscriber winner. And this is the Echeveria Fun Queen Hybrid. And I'm also going to cut a piece for uh, a friend that I share cuttings with. Can we get the best place to cut it from? been so floppy I feel like it should be this one but it probably will 
perk up afterwards. So I have these two pieces here. And then this one's gonna need a little room. So I might need a bigger pot for this one too. Hmm. I don't know. You know what it is? The grittier mix doesn't um, mold like the regular soil. Where if you put your finger, it kind of stays in that shape. This does not do that. So, and this one actually already has little babies propagating. Pretty sure you won't be able to see, but I'll show you in a moment. Oh, there goes a mess. My son's playing video games, so he's making a whole lot of noise over there. So I'm sorry for that, but he's having fun. And that's, you know, kids should be allowed to have fun. And video games are fun. Whoa. That was a bit much. You told him to be low, low rich? Yep. He's louder than ever. Oh, I forgot. I did make the, um, he'd be so proud. I made little signs for my plants. So this is a Trivia Longissima. And these are probably too big for these pots, but they're going in there. Because I want to know what I have. I don't like the way that one is. I might need to put this one in a bigger pot. Because I don't like the way that's folding over. But it's probably because it needs to a drink. So it's probably floppy because of that. So I'm going to leave it for now. And just let it trail down. And I will water these. Because... Um, They've come a long way and they need a drink. Okay, so next, why don't we go for this one. And this is Echeveria Atlantis. I feel like, I don't know if that's the Atlantis or not. So no. Oh, this is the tiny little babies there. So I'm going to cut a piece here. And let's see. This one as well. And I'm trying not to put the stem so deep because I I put them too deep last time. And then I had to repot them. So. And this is Echeveria Shimoyama Colorado. There's already a little tiny cutting there. And this one only came with a couple of heads. So uh, it's not like I have a lot to share with this one. And I will bring this straight up to the... I don't know if I mentioned it before, but these Korean succulents do take a little longer than um, the regular cuttings to, to root. And it may be just because of um, the traveling and such, but they do. I find that they take a little longer to root. So don't be surprised if yours don't root right away if you purchase them or whoever winds up winning the cuttings okay i need to remember to leave room for soil i mean the top dressing i hope i'm recording i can't even see huh am i can you i hope i'm recording all right where is the colorado stick 
uh, apparently I'm missing a a label so I'll just put it on top of there all right next this is an Echeveria lemon rose which I absolutely love that'll be the cutting Now, as I mentioned before, with this mix, I feel like I have to water more often. So you can, uh, you know, make the mix to your liking. If you want to put less per, um, pumice, less uh, turfis, depending on where you live, you might have drier, drier conditions. Or I doubt that anywhere else is more humid than Florida, but um, you know addend it to your liking and be sure to check your soil you may need to water more often less often you know you'll have to see what works for you okay this is relatively easy this is the love fire it's a very love fire so let me find super beautiful i should be showing them to you guys uh, I will link up above or at the end of the video the unboxing of this order. That made the that made it a little wonky the the shape, but it's it's okay. Echeveria Minima Minu Hiku. Pretty sure I'm botching that name, but I have a cluster here. And I don't know why they all broke off like this. And I hope these are all from the same. I feel like these look different than that. Um. Things here. And I will start placing this in here like so. Try to make it look like a little bouquet here. A little wonky, but beautiful. Alright, what are we up to? This one, yeah, this one's going to go in a bigger. I don't, that's not fair to put that in such a little pot. I don't want the stems to get like too, very too far down. So I need to bring them higher. I just want them kind of in the dirt, able to stand. Because if not, they're going to rot if I put them too deep in there. I can never center any plants. It's so ridiculous. All right, that's pretty good. Good enough. On um, this cute little um, owl thing, I got it at the 99 cent store. But it was super cute. And this is the uh, Echeverria Ice Pinky. Oh, it's so pretty. I didn't want to cut off anything. <laughs> All right. So where am I going with this? This hurts. This one hurts. Right, so that's one for the subscriber, one for my friend Erin. This one's going in a small pot. This is the Echeveria Sierra. I love this one so much. It's like a raspberry color. I love it. I don't know if you'll see the color um, really with these lights, but right, I have to strategically find where to cut these. And I really should have been um, cleaning the shears with every cut, and I did not. Okay. All right, so I need to fill two pots with this oil. Give me a second. Mia, yeah, get out of the way. 
So this one, this is the Luella Corsada. I figured it needed a bigger pot, so I putting it in this one. I'm just putting it right there, and then I'll do the top dressing. I did not get to put this on here, so just two pumps. I'm going to. I don't want it to go right directly right on the plant. Even though I'm gonna water these guys in a little bit. Boy. This is an Echeveria Acavoides lipstick. And I love it. Alright, so this one's just going. I already have a cutting that fell off of that. And then I have there was another one. They're all the same size. So that one. Alright. That is a beauty. Start putting the top dressing on the ones that I will have top dressing on. Because not all of them need it. They kind of pull on top. So I'm just going to do it to the ones that you need it. And this is chicken grit. And um, just so you guys know, the reason I use the terracotta pots is because they are very good at um, circulating air and water, moisture, wicking it away. So um, you have less chances of root rot. So they're really good for succulents, cacti, and I switched over to pretty much um, terracotta pots from almost all my plants, all my succulents anyway. And the top dressings are good to keep um, pests away, like gnats and stuff like that, so, and also help with the uh, root rot as well. So that's why I try to put the top dressing if possible. Doesn't have to all have top dressing. And it helps to keep the um, soil in place as well. Like the perlite, I find when I do use it that it doesn't um, doesn't rise to the top as much if I have a nice layer of um, top dressing on it. Alright, so The only issue I have with the top dressing is that I cannot use my moisture meter. Yeah, my finger. That's what I use to test the soil. And as you can imagine, it's pretty impossible without ruining your top dressing. So I did order a moisture meter and I cannot wait to get it because I have a lot of plants that have the, the, the top dressing on them now and it's difficult for me to decide if they need water or not and I'm just, um, you know, I want to do the right thing by my plants. And like I said before, um, I will be doing a, um, a succulent care tutorial or, you know, video because I felt really bad that I had a, a subscriber who was so excited and inspired to buy some succulents and then unfortunately said that she had them all die and unsubscribed to me <laughs> which I felt totally bad about not the unsubscribing yeah that I feel bad about that but I felt bad that she lost her plans because you know um I'm not here to have you purchase a bunch of things and have them just um die on you you know we want all to have healthy plants and have them grow and thrive and um so i want to be able to help you uh succeed with your plants but like i said previously you know different conditions require different soil different mixtures so you will have to play around and see what works best for you okay mm -hmm. 
and your your plants will will give you a lot of indicators of you know when they need to be watered and when something's going on so just you know listen to your plants they have a lot to say this one i don't know what happened to the label but that's the colorado um i have an extra little thing here I am making such a mess here. This is like crazy. And I'll put links to um, all the products that I, I like and use and um, that work for me. I know a lot of them I'm, I'm, I'm able to find in my area, so I wind up having to purchase them online. Uh, if you're lucky enough to be able to find them in your area, you know then definitely get them there. But for your convenience, I will put the links below. I'm really like so excited about this, this order. Like I really, really, really love everything I've gotten. Mia, why are you there? The only one I, I have a little um I was not so impressed with is this one, the Longissima. Because it wasn't one of the cheaper ones. And I was expecting it to be larger than this. And it they're really small. But, you know, maybe it's just because they shriveled up with shipment. Um, yeah, but that's the only one I was kind of not so impressed with. And for top dressings also, um, if you don't like the chicken grit and you like something a different color, I have found at Walmart the aquarium gravel, which I, I got the idea from um, Lisette Wonder Woman. Um, to use that aquarium gravel because I couldn't find it anywhere and I couldn't find um, you know a top dressing that I liked you can you can use that and it's pretty inexpensive as well um, and I, I see a lot of people use the surface but it's it's difficult for me to find I mean other than online on Amazon I'm able to get it um, some people said that maybe at the John Deere store and um, some other places but I haven't been able to find it so I just order it online and since I use um, you know portions of it for my for my mix it's more than enough for quite a bit of plants um, but some people use it as top dressing and it looks really pretty as well but the aquarium gravel comes in different colors like white um, stone colored like um, tan stone color um, Blues. I don't know if it has. It comes in black. Um, but you know, you can look it up on Walmart.com or if you go to the store, you can find it there as well. And this video is getting super long, so I'm trying to rush, but I'm not good at rushing. And I want to thank everyone. Um, so I'm super excited to have reached a thousand subscribers. Uh, you guys have been super supportive, amazing, and I truly appreciate it. I really, really do. Gives me all the fire and fuel to keep, you know, doing what I'm doing with the positive comments. You guys um, really reinforce that I'm doing the right thing. Or a good thing. <laughs> and if you guys are new and have and don't know, um, I'm going to be giving some of these cuttings away to the for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So you still have time to enter because I'm going to be picking a winner on the 14th, I believe. I'll have the information down below. And you would have to comment not in this video, but the um, the giveaway video. 
and I'll, I'll, I'll post the link for that. And it's not just going to be these cuttings. I'm going to give you some cuttings from uh, my, my garden as well. They won't be Korean. The, the, there'll be some of these Koreans, Korean cuttings here as well as some cuttings from my garden. Some other things. So you'll, you'll really enjoy it. You'll have a nice uh, mix of things for your garden. Almost done, surprisingly. This guy, I don't like how he's flopping around in there. You know, and some people may say, what are you doing? Why are you giving these cuttings away? Why are you giving the plant away? You know, I'm giving, also giving the alocasia, alocasia, alocasia. Um, Willa was kind enough, Willa Johnson, nice enough to give me the correct pronunciation of the, that plant and I, and I forgot it. So, I don't like the way that is kind of, maybe once it perks up a little bit, it'll, I may wind up cutting that and planting it back in there. For now, it'll stay like that. So you still have time to, my point is, you still have time to enter. And the instructions for entering will be in that other video. I mean, it's pretty simple. You just have to be subscribed and uh, leave a comment for what you would prefer to win either the variegated elephant ears or the succulent cutting so pretty simple is that everything i think this one needs some gravel as well my son just give me a double look <laughs> I almost feel like this should have been in a bigger pot, but I can always repot. I love this little tool set. It's just so helpful. has all these little awesome things for you to use this is a pretty cool scooper let's you get into little spots like these are these are a little too small for it but like these bigger ones it gives you you know lets you get into places it has this watering bottle which i am going to use now which i find super useful and this is invaluable to blow away not only dirt when you're dirt and um, debris from the plants but water because you never want water settling in your succulents that's gonna rot them away so this bottle I really like because you can really direct where you want to water and all I want to water is kind of the roots super quick because they are dehydrated at this point and another thing that I've started doing which I think um, is really really probably the best way to water them is to water from below and what I'll do is I'll use um I wish I had it in here it's outside a um a basin or a, a pot and put these pots fill that with water and put the pot in there so it's kind of just getting the water from the bottom and that's probably the best way for you to water most of your plants especially succulents that you do not want to water from above and get that um that into the rosettes another thing you can use is like a water bottle you know the ones you use to drink from drinking water bottle and that can aim the water exactly where you want it as well so anyway 
I'm going to leave it at this. I'll finish watering. Um, so I don't bore you guys anymore. But, oh, these are the sticks I use to label the plants. If you know, you're looking for it, I don't know if I got them at maybe Home Depot or Lowe's. But they sell them pretty much everywhere. I think I saw it at the tractor supply store as well. Pretty cheap. I think they were like $2. Um, and I used my P-Touch labeler that my dad bought me several years ago. Actually using it now, dad. Um, and that's pretty much it. I truly appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I post something new. And thank you so, so much. Till next time. Make this world a more beautiful place, one succulent plant and cacti at a time. Bye! Guys, I just wanted to show my garden jewels. I am like beyond ecstatic with my order. It's absolutely beautiful. I love each and every one of them. I believe it's worth the money and then some. I am so happy with my order um, and my plants. So, this is them all potted up. I'm about to put them on the shelves, but just wanted to show you guys before I did that. Again, thanks again for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Till next time.